What's up, everybody? Federer Nadal in the Wimbledon semifinals. This is awesome. The rivalry continues. And I want to walk you through a play Nadal uses called the Battering Ram and how Fed is going to try and counteract it because this is a play that has defined their rivalry pretty much since day one. And Fed's kind of figured it out on faster surfaces, hasn't figured it out on a clay court yet, but grass is obviously a super fast surface. So we'll see what's up. Um, first key concept to understand is the sword, the strength for Nadal is cross court at the shield Fed's weakness. So it's forehand for a lefty to backhand. Um, that's obviously something everybody's aware of, but it's critical when you understand the battering ram, which requires this matchup. So the battering ram's pretty straightforward. Nadal is gonna go forehands cross court at Fed's backhand, and the first forehand is gonna be through the court like that, and the goal is to push Roger back off of the baseline. So get him back there. Roger's gonna hit that ball back cross court. Rafa's probably gonna try and scoot forward a little bit. The next forehand that Rafa hits is gonna be one where he'll try and stretch Federer off the court. So he's pushed him back, and then he's moved him off the court like this. And the reason Nadal pushes back first is if he tried to go wide first, Fed would have to go along the baseline to like right there to get to that ball. By, but by pushing him back first, Fed now has to go all the way over there to get to that exact same second shot. So Rafa is now able to get Fed much further off the court. And then the next shot Fed hits is a super easy put away uh, for, uh, for Rafa because Fed's got to cover the open court, so he's going to be moving this way, and Rafa can either go to the open court or, uh, equally as effective, he can run around, hit a forehand, and hit behind, but in either case, he's going to win uh, pretty much all of those points once he gets Fed all the way over here. So the thing to look for that Fed has been doing to defend this and let's take a step back. Earlier in Fed's career, what he would do is he would try and slice either one of these backhands. And the problem with that is Rafa could step in and Rafa doesn't have any trouble with those low slices. He's got so much topspin on his forehand, he can still run this play. So Fed, a couple years ago, just gave up trying to hit slices. And what he does now instead, off of this first shot here, where Rafa tries to put him back, Fed will go uh, hit an aggressive backhand, topspin backhand, hard down the middle of the court. And what he's trying to do is cut down on the angles, keep Rafa back, and hopefully Rafa leaves a ball that's kind of sitting that Fed can then run around and hit a forehand with. Now, if that doesn't happen, if Rafa's able to pull him off the court with this next shot, then Fed's gonna hit a hard backhand cross court, probably try to angle it, but he's gonna go big again. It's gonna be a lower percentage backhand, and he's gonna try and pull Rafa off the court, hopefully get some ball cross court again that will be tailing into him where he can hit a forehand and take control of the point. Now, both of these backhands, whether it's through the court and particularly the one angled like this, are not high percentage shots. They're low percentage shots, but he's still gonna improve his percentage a little bit over slicing the ball. And at, at this level, at the pro level, that's all you need. You need a couple extra points because the margins are so narrow. Just like one percentage point even can make the difference between winning and losing. So keep an eye out for Rafa using the battering ram, for Fed trying to defend by going hard through the middle when Rafa tries to push him back, and then by going uh, angle cross court uh, to Rafa's forehand wide if Fed himself gets pulled off the court. And uh, hey, enjoy the, uh, the match tomorrow. This is gonna be awesome. I'm pumped. I'm predicting uh, five sets, because why not? It's Wimbledon semis, so let's say that they're, you know, I think they're gonna go to the difference. It's gonna be, a, or distance, go the distance. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But uh, please leave a comment below. What do you think is gonna happen? Who's gonna win? How many sets uh, do you think it's gonna be? I haven't actually predicted who's gonna win this match. I'm gonna go, man, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna go Fed in, uh, uh, we'll go we'll go Fed 6-4 in the, in the fifth set. That's going to be my prediction. So let me know what you think down below. And hey, if you are a tennis player, and specifically a doubles player, and you want to learn how to run plays uh, in your doubles game, well, I've got an amazing training series I want to share with you. It's with Martina Navratilova, the Bryan Brothers, and Gigi Fernandez. And there's a link like down below in the description. If you click that, it'll take you to a page where you can sign up 
with your email address and you'll get to hear from Martina, Bob and Mike, and Gigi. Martina is gonna share her absolute favorite play called The Prognosticator. The Bryans are gonna share a play called The Upgrade. Super cool. So if you feel like you're watching Poachable Balls was by you, you're like, oh my goodness, should have poached on that one. Well, uh, all these amazing champions are there to help. So just scroll down this page, click the link in the description, and uh, you can sign up and you'll get instant access. So hey, thanks for watching this video. Enjoyed putting it together for you. Hope you liked it and enjoy Fed vs. Nadal episode like 40 at this point, something like that. We're only gonna get a couple more. They're, they're both nearing the end of their career. So enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks again for watching this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.